Welcome to Astro File Manager. Whether you're a new user or you've updated from Astro version 3, please take just a couple of minutes to watch how you can view, share, and manage all your pictures, documents, music, videos, or other files on your Android phone or tablet. From Astro, you can also manage and share files on your PC or in the world's most popular cloud services like Facebook for photos, Google Drive, Dropbox, SkyDrive, Box, and others. So let's go ahead and get started. First screen you're going to see when you uh, go into Astro is connect to your cloud accounts. Go ahead and click the continue button. Once you do that, you'll be brought to a page where you can activate these great services. All of these are free and give free space to our users. So we hope that you'll go ahead and take advantage of that. You'll click continue and we'll take you through a series of screens to go ahead and activate those services or create new accounts for them. This is very brief. When you're in Astro, you can see that you can slide your finger from the left to the right or the right to the left. This will bring up some side panels. Once you click on the screen the very first time, that finger will go away. Let's look at your home screen. First of all, you have three tabs up top. Your automatic default is the Locations tab that has all of your cloud locations, all of your local storage locations, and you can scan for your local network. We click on the Searches tab and it brings back searches. These are searches that are based upon your file type. So if you click on the picture search, it will bring back all your pictures regardless of where they're located on the device. Finally, we click the Recents tab and you can see all of your recent files and you can see them by date. Let's go ahead and go back to the Locations tab. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our finger from the left to the right. And as we do that, you're going to see this locations tab brought up. It has all the same locations. You can also get to your home screen from here. You can do a search from here. You can click on the wheel to go ahead and change any of these locations and you can create a new location. If we slide our finger from the bottom to the top. It'll bring all the searches. So on this one sidebar, you basically have your entire home panel. If we go back and now we slide our finger from the right to the left, we'll bring up our system panel. This will bring back all the tools that you're used to seeing, as well as the help and the setting screens. You can view these side panels from pretty much anywhere. If you click on the settings tab, you'll see that you can be brought to all of your settings. This is some place that uh, I think all of our existing users uh, should certainly go ahead and view. Some of you uh, wanna go directly from clicking Astro and open it up into a directory. You can do that right here at the startup. If we go back to the locations and we click my files, which in this phone is my internal memory, we'll be brought to a screen that has our files and you can see um, uh, all the directories here. If we go ahead and we click attachments, we'll be brought into the attachments directory. Then what I, one thing I wanna show you is when you long click on Astro now, because we're using the ICS style, when you long click, you'll be brought up a menu. This is for copy, this is for move, delete, rename, and you can always click the three dots to be brought up to this mem menu as well. Let me show you another function here that's very important. When you're inside of any directory, you can click on the star button. When you do that, what you've created is a, um, is a location shortcut. Now, if I go to that sidebar and I swipe my finger from the left to the right, I can see here now that attachments is going to be in one of my location shortcuts. And now you can also see when you go to the home screen that you've got an attachment shortcut here. So for those users who love shortcuts and you want to create them and put them on your home screen, this is a great uh, functional tool for you. There's also the search functionality here. So if I go up to my home screen and I click in the search, it'll bring up my keyboard. I can put in JPEG, I can go ahead and click the search button down here, and it will bring back all the results of our searches. If we go ahead and click on the pictures to find all the pictures that brought back uh, from the JPEG search, we can see all of those, it'll expand. You can also go ahead and create a shortcut for a search. So you can bookmark or shortcut a search here. And when we do that and the star is filled in, it shows you that that, is, uh, that has been shortcutted. And now if you go to your searches tab on your home screen, you can see the JPEG shortcut 
uh, search. You can also use the advanced search options. If you click that button, you'll be brought here. You have all these options. We can go ahead and, and do a size option, say greater than 200 megabyte or 200 kilobytes. Uh, click the search button and here are our results. Again, uh, making it a very useful uh, search tool. Last thing to share with you very quickly is uh, anywhere inside of a directory, you can click on your menu button. And when you do that, it'll bring up all the other optional uh, features. Here, we obviously have new folder and view settings. I want to show you very quickly, if we click on view settings, here are your view settings. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and press list directories first. We'll uncheck that box. We'll go ahead and click OK. And next thing you know, now you've seen that uh, it has changed and this is now alphabetical without the, um, uh, without the directories being listed first. Thanks for spending a few minutes and going through the overview of Astro File Manager.